Beginning in March, DC Comics will change Superman's traditional red and blue costume to a new form-fitting bodysuit. The problem with the old costume? Not gay enough. <laughs> What the hell's going on in the country? That's not Superman. Best entertainment on the earth. Tune in for Comics with Perch. Well, hey, everybody, it's Perch. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking Perch. How about that? All right, drop an F-bomb right away. Thank you, YouTube censors. I That probably hurts me somehow, some way. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we were teased several, several months ago that there would be a brand new addition to the Spider-Man universe, and uh, there was a variant cover, and they they had concealed the variant cover. They, they'd done a, you know, too hot, too hot to handle. You know, too hot for video, whatever it happens to be. Uh, Girls Gone Wild. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, flashbacks. Anyway. Spider-Man number seven, Dan Slott, uh, he's been doing multiversal madness with all the Spider-Men in the world. Some of them not even men, some women, some robots, some pigs, some uh, anime characters, whatever, you know, all the Spider-Men. So Dan Slott, uh, who's writing Spider-Man uh, with um, uh, Mark Bagley, there is uh, there was a in, in number seven, there's going to be a variant cover and they, they kept it secret. Because the cover would reveal the newest hot, hot member of the Spider-Man universe. And what Marvel is thinking here, I believe, is that uh, it is, you know, like the Gwenpool was introduced via variant cover. Uh, Chris Bacalo drew a picture of a, a Gwen Stacy pink Deadpool-like character on a little floaty with some dead bodies around it. And this character somehow became a whole thing. Like, let's let's... This variant cover is worth an entire comic series. So uh, that that's, I think, what Marvel is getting at. They had another variant cover that was a big deal with another variant Spider-Man. And, uh, you know, a, a while back, I don't even remember who that turned out to be. It did not turn out to be much of anything. But anyway, it's a way to kind of catch speculators like, hey, do you want the next new hot Marvel character or do you debut it on this variant cover? Something super, super cool. And uh, you'll want to, you'll want to, you absolutely want to get it on this. This is the, the big new IP. So this, uh, you know, we all kind of knew it was going to be some spider variant. And in fact, I think Marvel, I think, I believe Marvel leaked that it would be some kind of spider variant person somehow, somewhere. Uh, but uh, we didn't know who it was. Well, now we do. Spider-Man number seven, the cover has been leaked. It's out there and it is Spider-Boy. And you've been seeing it on your screen now. It's a Spider-Man-like costume, uh, more blue and red kind of mix. Got Crazy tennis shoes looks a little bit like Miles Morales. Maybe it is under there. I don't know. Got some crazy little winky eye things going on there. Uh, based on the skin tight uh, outfit, probably a guy. Let's let's say or a boy. It says Spider Boy, but in 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 today's world, you never you know it could be could be a lot of things. We don't we don't fully know what it's going to wind up being. But, uh, let's assume it's a Spider Boy. Now we've had Spider Boy a uh, long time ago. If you remember, if you go back into the Wayback Machine to the Amalgam Universe, we actually had a Spider-Boy that was kind of Spider-Man plus Superboy, and we had that back in the Amalgam Universe, and this was a uh, street-tough Spider-Boy. Uh, but uh, but anyway, this is a new Spider-Man spinoff, and uh, too much of a spoiler, but now we're actually getting this this comic. Uh, you know, Dan Slott, Mark Bagley, Hub Huberto Ramos, a new Spider-Man spin-off has been revealed as Spider-Boy, and th there's at least some indication that they we are going to get uh, some. He's going to debut in Spider-Man Seven, and there's going to be some kind of spin-off somewhere, somehow. Uh, you know, any anyway, where whether it's a Marvel Infinite comic because all the shit seems to go there, or they're actually God help them going to do a you know a mini series, which is always possible. But April fifth which is coming up, Spider-Boy debuts in Spider-Man number seven. And uh, Marvel is saying it's someone, according to Marvel Comics, who has been here all along and starred in some of the greatest stories in Spider-Man history. Hasn't he? Hasn't he? Well, in the multiverse, who knows? But uh, we're, uh, this may be a younger clone. Uh, the news drama is speculating it's a younger clone of Ben Riley. 
Um, some people are, are claiming it's a Peter Parker from another dimension who's younger. There's been speculation that it actually is Miles Morales uh, somehow. Uh, we've heard that it's, uh, you know, all, all kinds of you know, things. But uh, Marvel is saying, despite the fact that the storyline is going with, this is the multiverse and everything else, uh, despite the fact that every, you know, Dan Slot Spider-Man comic has been about the multiverse, Marvel says this Spider-Boy is, quote, not originating from the multiverse at all. So that could be, uh, it, 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 who, who, who knows? Uh, but uh, this could be another kind of taken from time situation, like when Brian Michael Bendis did the the X Men, and they were brought forward in time by the Beast. So it could be a younger version of Spider Man who was uh, somehow pulled forward into our reality, or I, I don't know. Dan Slot says, um, "I'm hungry. Where's my food? No, sorry, that's not what he says. He says I grew up reading Spider Man comics. He's my favorite character in all of fiction." State Stan slot an announcement. Uh, all I ever wanted to do was make sure that he was not married like all the stories I read in the past because fuck all those stories. Even though I grew up reading them, I don't want to adhere it all to that continuity. Oh, sorry, he didn't say that either. Sorry, he said, all I ever wanted to do was tell stories with this cast and it's been the coolest thing ever to co-create some of the spider, the, the spider, some of the characters who populate it. And this kid, this spider boy, is the, all caps, one, I'm most psyched about other than dinner. Okay. That is, I'm, you know what? I, I, it's not even fair. It's not fair. I, there, you know, I, I'm taking a cheap shot there. Several cheap shots. Anyway, uh, Slot uh, is teasing the Spider Boy strange new spider power, secret ties to dark corners on Spider Man lore, and a story that's all his own that is right about to begin. So, anyway, uh, Spider Man number seven is introducing a Spider Boy which is uh, a thing. Um, so we're we're definitely getting that, and we can all be excited about it, uh, or not. But um, first off, I, I mean, I, I continue to be nonplussed by the idea that this character is being introduced via very cover, but why not? It is, that is, nothing is more peak 2023 than a spider variant cover character in the Spider-Man universe, so that's what we're getting, and uh, we'll see how that all goes. Um, it's, it's a younger Spider-Man because if there's one thing about spider universe. And when you think about Peter Parker and miles and everything else, they don't have young characters. All those characters are super old and they haven't had like a teenage spider powered character ever. They've never, ever had that. So this is super cool. That is sarcasm. Uh, but I, my question to you is one, are you going to run out and buy this, uh, this cover? And, and two, how do you feel about another spider character being introduced? Are you excited about you know, Marvel saying, you know what, we do not have enough spider characters. We have a spider Gwen, we have a spider Miles, we have a spider Peter, we have a spider multiverse, we have a Venom, we have a Carnage, we have uh, all the various other characters related to to those people. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we damn it, there's just not enough spider characters, so let's add one more. Spider Boy, here we go. Are you buying it? Are you excited? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and thanks for listening.